get in, guys. Yes. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. We are back on Chelsea Fan TV for another review. Thank the Lord we held on at the end. Because I was getting nervous when that second goal went in. I thought, oh, here we go. I don't get any peace. I don't get any peace. But we did it. We had to win. And we won. Our, our hopes of Europe are still in the balance. Well, I know we're eight points clear of United. But if we beat them, we can pull that back down to five. And then we can start thinking about hopefully, hopefully getting back into the European spots. And I'm not going to talk about where my hopes are with that. But you just have to keep fighting. You have to keep getting results. And that whole race ain't consistent. Teams around there will drop points. You just have to keep focusing on yourself and keep getting results. And we haven't done that. But we had to win today. We won. There was a lot of good individual performances. Substitutions, you could argue they were a little bit late. But thankfully, they were effective. So I'm not even going to focus too much on that. Like, we've complained a lot about the subs, timing of subs, the type of substitutions that we've made. Don't really have those complaints today. Like, we brought on Mudrick and he instantly cooked, instantly showed impact for me. But he has to start. He's got to start now because I'll be so real with you. I'm, t I'm tired of Sterling. I'm tired of Sterling. Like, th th that is the third strike now. With that with that 1v1, 2v1 that you should have laid off. You did it against Villa, we lost. You did it against Wolves, we lost. We we thankfully won. But the first thing on my head after that 1v1 was, if we don't get three points, if we don't get three points, I'm not even going to try and look at anything else. I'm going to look straight at you because you're the experienced player. Third strike, in my opinion, out. Leicester City is the, the perfect game for us to give Mudrick a run. And let him build off the confidence that he, that he has off that goal, for goodness sakes. Every time Mudrick has a big moment for Chelsea, we throw him on the bench. And he, he doesn't get a chance to capitalise on it. So, please, start Mudrick in the next game. That, that's the one thing I get coming out of that game. But other than that, I actually thought we started the game pretty well. Um, we're absolutely cooking on the right-hand side. Gusto and Palmer, unbelievable. Unbelievable. After 20 minutes, they had to send Anthony Gordon onto the right-hand side because they just couldn't handle Gusto when he was playing off the left. Almiron struggled there as well. We get the first goal. Nice little bit of awareness from Jackson because I think Palmer was shooting that wide. But the one thing I liked from Palmer, and we saw that for the second goal as well, he wasn't moving slowly. He wasn't overtaking. He wasn't taking too many touches on the ball. He gets the ball, bang. Immediate chance. That's all I want. Quick football, quick football. And we started to show a little bit of that in this game. Um, who else played well? I hope both fullbacks played well. Let me not just focus on Gusto, who was unbelievable again. Cucurella. Let's talk about Cucurella. His first game back. First game back in God knows how long. And bar the mistake for the second goal, impenetrable. Absolutely impenetrable. I've, I've been saying, this guy is our best left back. Why the hell are we focusing on trying to sell him and we keep Ben Chilwell, who has been absolutely cheeks for the last 18 months to 24 months? I don't know. I don't know. But Cucurella was excellent. Um, Gusto, excellent. Caicedo, another amazing performance from him. We'll fly under the radar because we conceded two goals, but it, it, won't, it won't fall under my radar. He was brilliant. Um, who else? Jackson. Jackson was so good today. So good. When he was playing off the left-hand side and he was contributing for the third goal, in terms of his play in the middle, the decision-making, the link-up play, unlucky to be on offside for what would have been the second goal because he took that really well. And I think in front of goal, he had a little bit of a bad performance today. Much bad performance. And for his first season, nine league goals. This guy has already outscored Kai Havertz's Premier League tally for us in all three seasons. And you know how much people used to infuriate me with how much they blindly defended him. Nicholas Jackson is in his first season. Leave the kid alone, man. He's developing. He's growing at a decent rate. Big up. Big up. Um, what else? The only players that really seemed to like disappoint me was Sterling. Sterling was okay in the first 20 minutes. Like, he kept the ball ticking and everything. Just wasn't really any big moments from him. But just got sloppier and sloppier as the game went on. And by the second half, I just wanted him off. I can't be bothered for him. 
I can't be bothered for him anymore. 300 plus K a week and the performances that we get are just not good enough. They're not good enough. I'd rather see Mudrick get given a run out in that position. I'd rather see Madueke get given a run out in that position. If we're doing this whole trust the process, build through with the youth players and everything, let's build with the youth players. Because the experience, it, seem, it seems like it's letting us down. Seems like it's letting us down. Um, Gallagher, I, I didn't really rate his performance too much. But he's just coming off the flu. So I'm going to leave him alone. I'll leave him alone for today. I ain't going to say too much. Enzo, I didn't think he played well. I didn't think he had a good game. I thought some of the passing was really sloppy from him. And part of it led to the first goal that we conceded too. Got an assist. We'll take it. All the GNA merchants will love that one. Agenda purposes, we will run with it. Gallagher also got an assist in spite of his performance. So, hey, everybody leaves with something today. Everybody leaves with something. Um, On Poch, I, I didn't like the fact that we persistently played out the back because it constantly led to issues for us. Especially when Newcastle started pressing us more because like we, we kept letting them grow into the game a little bit more. I'd rather us just try to push it a bit forward. Other than that, like, thankfully, I don't have a lot to be annoyed about. Thank the Lord. The substitutions were late, but effective. That's all I needed. Cassidy came on and like literally won every duel that he had. Maybe there's a reason that we brought him back. But all I'll say is like you, you could have used him a, a little bit more. I wouldn't have minded seeing a Cassidy come on against Brentford, seeing a, how much we struggled in the air in that game. But hey, let's hope you build a little, a little bit more confidence with him from that game. Mudrick, sensational. Let him start more. And yeah, other than that, thank the Lord we won because we really, really needed to win this game. Big up to everybody that's locked in though. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, up the Chels, up the Chels. I'm still pot out for anyone who asks in the comment section, but up the Chels.